So here is the newly installed Elite Steam Mist or Steam Mist Elite 15KW steam generator in here. Now, this was a little bit of a different setup as you could see first, it's outside the shower with um, sort of like a little bit of a custom fabrication here. This is just a radiator cover and it was cut to fit so you can see, just kind of cut like this to fit in here. Uh, this was done before I moved in. It's kind of a hacky thing, but it, it does work. And it covers it. It looks pretty good and matches. But uh, prior to installing this one, and this one hangs a little to mount it on the wall. It's not it's not sitting on the ground. Uh, there was an older steam mist unit from 2008 and the steam mist elite uses the same exact footprint. They were both 15 KWs uh, and they, and they just, they fit the same. This was actually a tiny bit smaller, believe it or not, but basically the same piping was done. It was just redone comes right out, goes in, and uh, right into the shower. And then the wiring was already there, so we just pick that wiring up. That's plugged back in right there. And then the remote wire was actually reusable too, that orange wire you see. That's already running up to the remote through the wall. Uh, I'll show you the other side. So, steam head. I do like the new steam head that came with the newer units. It's a square one and it's bi-directional really. It shoots steam up and down. Unlike the older steam head was just one that shot straight down and it would just, um, it would burn you after really like 10 minutes. I went with the basic remote, I mean you could you could get different types of remotes if you want different users and, and all these other bells and whistles, but I basically just wanted the temperature to be set and to raise and lower and turn the unit on and off. That's, that's really all I want. And they, they offer all different finishes too. I think this is like brushed aluminum or something. There's a bunch of different finishes and they'll match the steam head. Temperature up, power, temperature down. I have it set at 115 Fahrenheit, and uh, you can go up to 125 
on this model. It also has a timer. It usually shuts off completely after 20 or so minutes. And then you can turn it back on, but I think it's a safety feature built in. Been on for about 12 minutes or so. Pretty steamy. Maintaining the temp, I just raised it. It was at 105 and now I'm keeping it at 115. So you'll see uh, as it drops, the temp drops in here. It's going to kick on. There it goes. You get the icon. This steam head is a lot better than the previous one that I had. It, it, it comes out in both directions. Instead of coming at you and burning your legs if you were sitting here. So, definitely, uh, like I could be right next to it and not get burned. There it goes, it hit 115, so it automatically shuts off for the time being, and the temperature will continue to drop. And it'll keep cycling on and off to try to maintain whatever you set it at. Also, again, uh, where the steam generator is, there is a tray that Steam Mist also sells. That's hard to see in there, but it's in the bottom. Um, you know, if I if I was doing this again, if I was doing a fresh install, I would have a drain as well, and they have a almost like an auto drain for this unit, where basically it'll when you're done using the steamer, it's like a set time. It kind of purges it and drains out whatever's water is left into uh you know a drain basically but the only thing i had under here when they did it was kind of like an emergency drain that just dumps out somewhere it's not going into any of the plumbing uh to this to you know a proper draining system that you would have so i don't have anything hooked up to that but i do have the tray in case you ever do get a leak and they do eventually leak like any other hot water tank i mean the other one i had lasted from 2008 till 2023, started to leak a little in the seams. I caught it because I stick those little water alarms in the bottom there, and you could see it in the tray, and it went off, and I was able to uh, catch it and turn everything off, and you have like, you know, you should have a valve over there, obviously, to shut off the water, so you don't have any problems. And I stuck another one on the side here in case something else happened where the water didn't catch in the tray. As far as this steam room goes, I'll just make a few comments. If you're setting one up, I didn't get the opportunity to design this, so there are things I would have changed. It's pretty nice. Um, it's, a, it's a big area in height, and I guess also just in general, it's a pretty big shower. So you have like a regular shower head here that comes out. There's also a rain shower that uses like four, um, nozzles and it'll drain a hot you know drain a water tank basically a hot water tank in 10 minutes when that's running but it's really nice and then it has a had a, like a halogen light i replaced it with an led bulb because it's just more efficient and then this is this is real stone but it's like a mortar in between like just concrete everywhere and they had already set up you know the remote and the steam had to come through. They already put those holes in. And then the floor is tile. And then there is a single square drain there. This is the other side for the controls. But if I was to, you know, do this over, I probably would use a different type of material. I like the stone, but this stuff's pretty absorbent. All the concrete and everything. And I always make sure to seal this shower with like a, a water-based, like breathable sealer, but uh, you just don't, you don't know how much water this stuff can really hold. So the ceiling is important. I hope there's a water barrier or they put some kind of thing in between the walls. I really have no idea. It looks like the right type of, um, at least sheetrock or whatever. 
they use it's green, so at least it's uh, the right type, but I don't know anything else. Haven't had any problems. It's, this was built in 08, so still doing the job. Just popping back out. The door itself is nice, but if I was to do one over again, I probably would not do such a big door of all glass. I mean, it's, it's nice, but you have to really seal it well or you're gonna lose a lot of steam that's gonna come out. I do like that this was put in. This gives you, you know, when you're taking a shower to at least vent it out. And then when you're steaming, you close it. Everything is sealed all throughout on the sides. But I think if I was doing this over again, I would actually put an exhaust fan in there so you could suck everything out when you're done instead of relying on this, uh, you know, regular bathroom fan. I don't have any problems with mold or, or um, humidity in here, but I still think it would have been better for just clearing out the steam and all the humidity out of the shower. Just some last comments then on the performance of this on the Elite Steam. It's, it, it performs well. The only problem I had is on this remote pad where some of the like LED pixels have kind of disappeared a little bit and that, that happened like a week into using the, using the unit. They did send me a new remote under the warranty. I didn't put it in yet because it's kind of a pain. I'll have to reseal everything and connect, but I have it just in case it gets real bad. For performance wise, it, it does the job. I mean, it steams up. It's gonna depend, again, how you make your steam room, how insulated it is and, you know, the materials, but it steams up real nice. It can hold the temperature. You could set it all the way up to uh, 125, as I was showing before when I was operating and it, it gets the job done. I really like it. The one I had previous would just, again, keep going and uh, burn you after 10 minutes. It didn't even have a way to set the temperature or anything. So they do make some other units like regular steam mist units that have all kinds of bells and whistles from lights and aromas and, and the list goes on and on, but I just wasn't interested in that. I just wanted something basic and this gets the job done. So hope this helps a little when you're making a decision.